seconds to go. And it's going to be Cannon, so never mind. We're going to move all the way back from that. Cancel it out. They could just freeze Bot Wave. And that's what they're doing. You see the ping on the minions. Death cancels his recall. He's like, no, this cannot this cannot happen. And now he's going to move forward. It might cost Flash. Sorry, no, it's what? Not. That's just a hook. Now we're going to throw in Shelly as well. Good knock up. And in goes Doran. The bullet time is going to rain down. And Pyoshik is also going to pick up one of these kills. But in comes Summit now. Doran has flashed already. Needs to try and get the hell out of here. And the turret is going to find him. Now Dove standing on top of the cleave. Possibly looking for a fight here as the gravity field does come in. Oxley can of course Ragnarok, but the dragon is going to be taken. Make it rain just to get them out of the way. Into Narnia goes the ultimate from Gorilla, but still opportunities now. Moonlight Vigil coming down. Good exhaust onto Chovy. That Chaos Storm not doing nearly as much damage, but now Gorilla is going to be taken. Carrier goes golden. Sandbox can't find anything off the back end of that team fight. Oh, unless Dove can get in. It's like a Swain walk. Yeah, it really... I don't know, it's just other stuff. Right. Putting their time. Oh, good bubble lands there. Dub trying to come on in. Chovy lands the Chaos Storm. He expect out of him. He actually had the, the Pansy Feet to be at the very edge of that mail. Very important. First one going to go over to Dragon X to get their first 5%. Sandbox are in position. And a no flash available, but Slicing Maelstrom is there. We're looking for a bubble. Dub doesn't find it. Teleport to come in. Doran. In an awkward position right now as he shoots Summit with his sword. Drake now, it's going to be a 50-50. Locked down by the Rek'Sai, and there's the bullet time as well. Depp gets the full channel off, and Gorilla has to get the hell out of there. But in comes Summit, finds the better position, and Chovy's going to go down. Carrier falls at the same time as now Depp in so much trouble. Yoshik does lock down the Aatrox, but the damage has been done. Leo able to survive on the edge of the Slicing Maelstrom, and Yoshik wonders where the heck all of his buddies just went. So that was one of the most opportunistic team fights that Sandbox could have just hoped for, honestly. As uh, Pyoshik. Pyoshik? Yeah, he might he might flash. Oh, he finds And he's going to see the inevitable. Well, thought about it. Not all over for Dragon X, only a 2,000 gold advantage, but with this Baron buff, flip pushing Aatrox, Pyoshik. Coming on down here, they do get the knockup. Slicing Maelstrom comes in as well, but that's a very golden Aatrox, keeping himself alive for quite some time. World Ender will get a lot of healing, and he's utilizing it so, so well. Now in comes on fleek, and Summit will survive for the moment. No one on Dragon X is going to fall, and they do keep the turret alive. So, Summit well, gonna be able to... Anyway. Yeah, Summit gonna be able to live there. Defense on multiple fronts, but this inner turret is easily going to be taken, and that gold lead continues to stretch. Getting closer and closer. Both of these teams... Oh, Bubble is going to land here. Good tunnel gets Pyoshik out of the way as Carrier trying to buy some space. Has the Gargoyles stone plate. Now they're looking for a team fight. Summit's Summit. dead. So much trouble down to his GA. Will be respawning, but in goes Doran now. He finds Gorilla, he finds Summit, but otherwise he doesn't find anything. He needs to be on Leo, but he was nowhere in sight. And the Ophelios is going to get the uh, revenge what? onto him as Carrier. Uh, not sure what that was as Pyoshik tunnels in, tunnels. And he just threw away the Infernal Dragon. So oh, much damage man. for this. There is no way Pyoshik is yeah. even getting in here. Gorilla makes sure of that. Here for Doran as well. Some item completions coming in now for Dragon X, but we're going to have even more on the side of Sandbox. That death. Through this push, through this siege, and make it to the Infernal Dragon, they would still have a Hail Mary left inside of this game. They're definitely going to lose the bottom inhibitor. That's at the very least. Next wave. Almost there in mid. Doran might just panic and pull the trigger soon. Never mind, he's gonna lightning rush away. Yeah, and losing two inhibitors, that's not as easy to deal with as death. He's gonna get pulled back, does have flash available, uses the QSS and just dies. Cannot even press his D button whatsoever in that team fight. Kyoshik has to tunnel his way out. The Nautilus just dead as Doran doesn't even go golden in the fight. Dragon X looks like they've collapsed as their Nexus turrets are doing the same sandbox continue on their tear in the LCK during game one against Dragon X. They'll need to do it again, but damn, is momentum on their side as it's only an X's between them and continuing their undefeated streak. Okay, that's a Void Rush. That's Leo just shooting the Rek'Sai in the head. Chovy's going to follow suit. He'll go down. The Ace comes in just before the Nexus falls, and Sandbox He's pick covering up. covering Alistar. Just... Unwell life and Afrika can't come 
can't come quick enough. I'll tell you. <laughs> uh, Dragon Soul on Fleet, throwing in a Prey Seeker, but only uh, the Q. Yoshik, he's one on the board, nailing it. Okay, Hook everyone's gonna go just... wide. Yep. Another hook's gonna go wide. Gorilla. but Death is gonna get picked up. Oh no! Carrier goes golden. Dev can't really get into a good position here. Has the bullet time, hasn't used it. Doran just gonna get rid of Leo. Oh, That's exactly what his job okay. is. As Pyoshik takes down the Rek'Sai on the top side. Now we've got a bullet time. More acting to try and get rid of Doran, and that Whoa. sidestep from Deft was just beautiful. Summit gonna go down at the hands of the AD carry from Dragon X, and that's the team fight that Dragon X fans have been looking for. Bubble going to land, flashing it out of the way of the hook. From... Ends up flashing away as we come back into live Ooh, on Good Fleet. flash from Doran, but followed by Summit and put into the ground. Greencast is losing their minds in the background. <laughs> But uh, just coming out of a replay into that, certainly going to be surprising anyone is now Dove in a bit of trouble. There's the death charge. Good double what knock up. That? The kickback was super weird. You're exactly right as Gyoshik safeguards to get out of the way of Onfleet. Great hook from Carrier. As Dove is going to survive, but the Rek'Sai not so lucky. And this is going to be an example of one of those games where Sandbox has to fight from behind. Beautiful. Sandbox is going to be taking this Ocean Drake. And uh, we'll have a look at what rift. Still a bit ways away from completing that black cleaver. Now the turn top lane going to be taken. Still Takes just that. Now it'll be Chovy bringing up the rear there, but going to avoid every hook. That one's not avoided. As our uh, in goes the Nort. Massive damage as the bullet time flies overhead and summit. No GA this time, my friend. You are just dead, and this is what happens. Sandbox take the same fights, but they have way less gold than they have in every other game yes. so far in the LCK. So Summit ends up dying here, and it really just looks like this game is running away from Sandbox. And this is what they do. They continue to try and force fights. Is now Slice Maelstrom. What? And Gorilla bit off way more than he could chew right there. Pyoshi going to come down, slams the ground, and gets himself a robot with it. Is Chovy going to take a lantern to safety and an inner turret as icing on the cake? After that easy pickoff, Dragon X can fight around this Infernal Drake that's spawning in six seconds. That's a great hook as Chovy throws his own into Narnia, but the knockup party is there. Bullet time not enough. First Infernal goes to Sandbox, exactly what they want. Yeah. Yeah, gonna find okay. that the Chovy immediately goes golden underneath the turret. This might be the dive though, as Doran has flash available. He can get under that turret with his ult. Another hook lands from Kerry. He's what? going! He's going so deep as the bullet time splits up this fight. It's a one for one, making a one for two so far. As Doran in the back line is exactly where he needs to be. The flash off oh. from Chovy. He nails that one. This is gonna be the ace. And Dragon X got exactly to throw as there's a hook onto Chovy. Brings him on over. He has no flash available as the Infernal Chain comes in. Pyoshik trying to kick Gorilla away as we're continuing on this Baron. Pyoshik dives into the pit. Early smite, but still, it's going to be okay. And now, Dragon X, power spikes for their composition, play triage rather than aggressive. They will be one of the best teams in the LCK. However, they have consistently not been able to do that. Now they're looking to try and defend, as there's another hook that comes down from Chovy. Summit goes golden, as in goes Pyoshik into the back line, but, sorry, Doran into the back line, but can't get anything done. Summit survives with all of the healing from the World Ender, and now the Moonlight Vigil comes in. Chovy trying to play frontline. He will be the sacrificial lamb as the hook goes wide. Everyone is dead. Why are and they... in goes on fleek. The kickback, Pyoshik locks it down. Push. As hard as they were, and again, no match point, Drake point, yeah. is Gorilla and Dove trying to do hook. Oh, oh Leo there it is. In trouble, comboed out, bullet time going to secure it. That is one mistake you cannot make on Sandbox as Pyoshik gets a kick onto Dove, but it wasn't quite in position. Now Deft is going to clean up. All right, well, that was a big problem. On Fleet going to go down. That's the double for the misfortune. Into the GA, but that is not the Guardian Angel that can do anything for you this time, Summit. Double kill for Doran, and that is what a mistake like that can cost you the entire game right here as Dragon what? X will bring us to match point. The hell was this game, Atlas? <laughs> I don't know. This was called Counter Throws, LS. Counter Throws, as this Nexus is just but an afterthought at this stage as Trophy using his uh, Proto Belt in a pretty funny uh, way. Both of these teams, the only thing is that... Okay, it's what? Kiana. We went from fun pick to not as fun. Hex Flash is going to get himself over here. There's the flash play. Leo in potential trouble. Gorilla trying to play defense. 
No Cocoon has gone out just yet as both flashes from the bottom side, but the next hook is going to land. Gorilla is going to go down, and the Repel is death with great lane positioning, though, which really did give Terry a, a window to get up here. The flash means things are successful, but Doran Dial. On, on fleek, fleek. moving up towards the top side. The dice should be available here. No, he went through his own minions. Can't even sidestep the undertow. Gets himself the Q back, but it's not going to be enough to save his life. And there's there he is in there as well. Now Lantern's going to come over. They are going to find the cocoon. It's the face check from Summit. Exactly not what you want as the hook is layered so nicely. The world ender comes in. And this is actually a really good display. Not supreme display, in fact, as Joby throws that one out of the mid lane. Just an ignite to be thrown down onto Leo, but it looks like he is going to be able to get away. Gorilla, not so lucky. Now Joby can connect and an Elise, the best friends club. Not a combo that, we, that has seen all that much success as uh, Shelly's being uh, sick towards the top side. And now Pyotrick looking for Summit. Conqueror is going to proc as the World Ender's time is being eaten up. This may not be a 1v1 that you Conqueror. want, Pyotrick. Oh my goodness. Looks for the cocoon, flashes out of the way, and in goes Doran. The ruthless predator is there. And Was picked up. And against Renekton and Kiana, little bits of armor. It is pretty big. What is Elise? Oh, that's her animation for that, huh? She's gonna cocoon dove after the flash. I mean, hex flash, sorry, as Deft is gonna take down the outer turret on the bottom side. They trade it for outer in mid, but this one's gonna go down as well. Dragon X trading up once more. Local gold turret. And uh, the attention on summit continues. Lamp there onto Kyria. Atrox still waiting to complete his black cleaver. Well, Dragon X might be able to get a double charge out of. Uh, Shirley yeah, they're going to be able to raise this bottom or this top tier three turret for sure. Have they taken the lesson? Is there's a true display of talent? Goodbye, Summit. This is not the kind of laning that this guy has experienced so far, but they did take the inhibitor, which means the Dragon X will miss out on a lot of gold. They're going to need to utilize the extra map. Then the XP in addition to the gold that is being granted in top lane. At that minion wave. Yeah. Summit did that on purpose to make sure the minion wave that just it dies. Keeps freezing. Well, Gorilla is actually just going to flash in. Supreme Display of Talent does come down. Gorilla in trouble. L uses the stopwatch, but doesn't have the aftershock anymore. But now in comes the Olaf. Summit in there as well. Doesn't get onto Carrier. Great hook. Great play, and now he has to run out. Uh, the slows are going to come in as Doran goes golden underneath the turret, but Dragon X are destroying this team fight. Another Q on oh. Fleek, wants to do it as Dove, able to lock down that kill, but the max range hook onto on Fleek, and now Def finds himself as many kills as he would like. Dove is going to go down. Yoshi grabs that with a cheeky Q, and Carrier dies to a turret. And they might actually be able to end the game here, so someone's rejoicing like, aha! The yeah, top see, turret. this is why you take the inhibitors. Yes. That had nothing to do with Summit Leroy Jenkinsing. Leroy Jenkin Jenkinsing. Yep. For that's the a second tough, game in a, a row. A that, is, one. That, that one is a that, that's a tough verb. He did it in game number two, at the bottom tier two turret. If you recall, oh. one of them ends up going down at the very end. But Cloud Soul is just going to go over to. Uh, sorry, no, that's not, that one gives you the spinny, spinny, shooty, shoot. Okay, and what does it do? I believe it's called Onslaught. It just does damage in a cone, as our Deft is now dead. Oh! Wow. Boom goes the dynamite. Is this going to be another game where an Aphelios dies and the game is over? I would actually really like to see this sinful team composition lose this game after this many advantages. <laughs> it always does just rustle my jimmies. Well, that's his first death on the Aphelios as well, and maybe is a game-ending one. At that, you saw all of the vision that uh, Dragon X had that was so aggressively placed. But Sandbox found themselves in Avenue. Three dragons. You don't have to take the fourth one. You can just make it with this particular gun. Doran just playing goalkeeper. He's not even necessary. There's still going to be another fight left in this. Zoe, unfortunately, not able to get to that Oblivion Orb before. Kobe. Okay. Just caught out of position. Kyoshik now the next target. But Deft is there. Does have the. Christianum available. Yet the, the Cloud Soul, I don't know why they're hesitating doing this because when Chovy's up, Home Guard plus being Kiana, you get back into the fights really quick. Oh, that's a Flash Cocoon. It lands onto Gorilla, but the Stone Plate is going to keep him alive for the moment. Doran, that's they a got dangerous it. slice and dice. The bubble is going to be taken. Can he get onto Lant? He can. Sterix keeps him alive as well as Gorilla. Underneath the turret is going to survive for the moment. 
There's Pioshik going gold and will save him for now. I hope he used his Zonyas and didn't break another stopwatch as Doran. Ah. What is this positioning down to his GA? For what feels like no reason, Death wants to clean up the turret, does so. I think Chovy's gonna kill them both. Yeah, Chovy wanting to dive in to try and stop them from taking this as Onfleek now trying to run away. Cloud Soul activated. Extra oh, movement speed. Oh, this could be the game. Yep, there's the flash forward. The lantern is there as well as the flash was picked up. Is it enough, Dove? Yes, gets himself out of the way. The spleen to spray of talent is going to be there as now Deft looking to take down Summit as he respawns. It hasn't been his game today on this Atron. As our Dragon X are wondering whether it's time to actually go for some sort of re-engage, but there are no oh, solo laners there. Smite was just used on a cannon, I guess, to soften it. Oh, man. Spiderlings tank that one up for them as Doran dives into the back line, gets the flash forward. Chovy in for the supreme display of talent, lands onto a couple of members, but double stopwatches are utilized. Gorilla's gigantic in the back line, but Summit's just dead, and Onfleek is running for the hills. Hook! In onto Gorilla, nothing he can do, and somehow Dragon. Zoe X. and the Olaf. And remember, MF would have had the ultimate available to yeah, clear out to his the death. Is Leo going to cleanse for no reason? Actually, as Doran slices to get himself out. Sess, as far as the disengages now, we've got a reset on this reset. Elder. That's a little bit of a issue there. As Bullet Time flies over the top, the Elise locks they down the can't Elder, lose and now with Elder. this is huge well, for Dragon. Vulnerable. Yeah, we got and a six is... item Renekton. This guy is huge yes. right now. Not every day you actually get store. Oh my goodness, that hook went missing. Could be a huge problem. Knockup's coming in here from Summit who's trying to dash away. Ruthless Predator does stun him up. Making a fair bit of damage. Remember, Mortal Reminder on Gora. It's actually effective here as Carrier gets the hook, lands it on the Gorilla. Maybe not the priority target they're looking for. As now it's Onfleek diving into the back line, trying to find death, but he can't do it. Down to multiple GAs here for Sandbox, but dubs off to the oh! side. Leo gets caught out, and now Death is free to destroy. Double kill already. Doran gets exhausted. But Dub, he knows that they, he doesn't have a front line to play around. Onfleet doesn't have the options. As Pioshik over to the side, flashes for the Cocoon, finishes off his it's off one twenty. Sandbox right there. If you're Leo, you have to feel so bad as that. You know, in every sense of the word, that really was the death sentence. Oh, yeah. As the Thresh Hook landing onto MF locked her up, persisted beyond death. And that's going to be it. Zoe. Can't do anything. Oh, another cocoon. Pyoshik earning his paycheck here today on the Elise 8. Map, unfortunately, I believe in their first match. Yeah, and Dragon X just.